July 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. Wreckage found in the desert outside this small town is believed by many to be a UFO. The question is, are UFOs real? The answer is yes. For years, controversy has grown about what really happened here that summer night. Now, a decorated ex-U.S. Army intelligence officer has made a remarkable claim. He says that not only are UFOs real, but that the U.S. military harvested advanced technology from them. He knows this, he says, because he held the technology in his hands and saw alien bodies from the Roswell crash. The humanoid-type body came from the Roswell area where there was a crash in 1947. Why should we believe him? Because of the man that he was, the years of service that he dedicated to the United States of America, and the fact that he was considered one of the top military men in his field. What were the things that he has said in the past that have come to fruition? According to Lieutenant Colonel Philip Corso, he was responsible for bringing alien technology to military labs and civilian scientists and they used it to make lasers, fiber optics, integrated circuits, night vision image goggles, and bulletproof vests. A piece of super strong metallic cloth. Corso contends it may have protected the alien pilots in their spacecraft. A tube that appears to shoot a searing red light. Corso thinks it might be a surgical instrument or a weapon. An alien-made headband that, according to his military reports, might have been used to transmit thoughts or control the alien craft. An imprinted set of miniaturized circuits, perhaps a prefabricated microcircuit. A flexible wire that might have transmitted light through its interior. And a lens that could allow anyone to see in the dark, supposedly taken from the eye of an alien being. According to the reports that Corso claims to have read, some of the world's foremost scientists, men like Werner von Braun and J. Robert Oppenheimer, have access to the Roswell crash site. Corso says that Lieutenant General Trudeau greenlights him to assemble his own A-list team. You will put on that team anybody that you want. Engineers, scientists, I, I even I told the Germans. I told them I'll take a couple of Germans too, in addition to the U.S. side. We had the organization and we had the money and we had the brains to do it and we did it. Corso claiming that his team of A-list scientists helped him interpret the Roswell cash. I didn't have the training or the background for something. You know, that got highly technical. But fortunately, the German scientists were there. I knew von Braun, and I knew Hermann Olbert. Olbert was a man who said we've been helped. And we had to keep it quiet to protect our budget, to protect our, our organization. Among those who believe there was an alien crash near Roswell, there is consensus on one concept. The U.S. government systematically suppressed the truth. The government of the United States and other governments around the world have gone out of their way to keep that wrapped up inside a riddle that's smothered by an enigma. Philip Corso says he also had to keep his reverse engineering program under wraps. We couldn't discuss it. We made a decision it cannot be discussed outside of us. We're doing good. We have the authority, we have the money for our R&D projects. Well, that's fine, let's keep it that way. Let's not get mixed up in the, the, the murky area of whether they exist or not. As for Corso's contributions to the advancement of science, skeptics say that the technology he claimed to have pushed forward was ready to emerge anyway. As proof, they offer up the mind control headband, one alien technology that Corso did not claim to develop. Today, it's well on its way to becoming a reality without his help. 
Since the 1970s, scientists have been experimenting with using EEG readouts of brain waves to provide feedback and change behavior. It's now possible to use EEG feedback games like this one to learn how to manage brain states. But mind control technology has advanced even further than that. Going to open the first email, which says congrats. It says you In 2004, researchers received FDA approval to test tiny brain implants designed to allow disabled people to control computers using their thoughts. Next, I'm going to paint a circle. UFO researchers say the government's supposed cover-up may forever obscure the facts of Roswell. The military, the Pentagon, the government of the United States does not give that type of authority to a loose cannon. This man was highly regarded, highly respected. At my age, what do I have to lose? I have to let my grandchildren and my children know this because how long will I be around yet? And when I go, it goes with me. There must have been many days, many days, that Philip Corso said to himself, why me? Why do I have this information? And again, I think that's one of the things that probably plagued him for so many years. It's pretty difficult to keep a secret like that within yourself. Even today, um, only 10% of the story is told, my father says. The rest is classified.